Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. Welcome to this week's edition of Mods Worth Noting. I rarely if ever do decorations, but May Tree by Andy Modding here really caught my attention. It's just a nicely designed maypole if you want to put that up anywhere in your game. Feeding Place is a nice mod that again creates a unique experience in game for you. So it lets you put a square hay bale in there and eventually you can sell it for 20 times the price. It says in a certain period, but I'm assuming you just decide when you want to go ahead and make the sale. Barbed wire fence and wooden gate is a simple and well done mod. If you're looking at doing something out in the American West and doing something that is very typical, covering large expanses, this might be it. Really well designed, different size gates depending on the type of equipment you're going to need to get in and out of the location. Check this out. GDR building package caught my attention mainly because it was created by Vertex Design, a modder whose work I really like. And this gives you a lot of different sheds and some lights as well to go ahead and utilize in your builds. Food mixers is a nice mod because there really aren't a lot of food mixers that I've seen within FS22. I'm still waiting for the large capacity machine that used to do 90,000 liters or so that I happily used in FS19. But in the meantime, this creation by Air Shaba gives you a simple option and is a little bit larger than the small building that has been out there for a while. This one gives you 50,000 liters capacity. You can see here the incoming materials, silage, hay, and straw, so it doesn't look like it needs the mineral feed, and the pig food mixer, corn, sunflower, and potatoes. If you're going to be doing a baling operation on your survival farm, homemade lizard fork might be something you want to take a look at. This is a lot fancier than anything I could make at home, but still good concept inexpensive price and those are the things that are the most important with these type of mods for the low cost or survival type gameplay. $850 for this. If you like the Ursus line, Ursus Medium Series Pack has a lot to offer you. It has many vehicles, front loaders, equipment for those loaders, rear attachments, and all kinds of configurations available for you. And here's just a quick peek of the myriad combinations available to you. Grape Production Pack adds some additional capabilities into what you can do with grapes. What this pack provides you is two replacement production facilities for the grape processing unit and the oil mill and then the cell point to deal with the couple extra products that are available. So in addition to grape juice and obviously raisins, you're going to be able to produce grape must and I know nothing about grapes, so I had to look this up, but must is basically a thicker grape juice, or sometimes called young wine, that includes the skins, the stems, and the seeds in the juice as well, and grape seeds. So you'll be able to use the grape seeds in the modified oil mill to make grape seed oil, and the output gives you grape juice, grape must, and grape seeds. So you can see here, for example, instead of the typical setup in a grape processing unit of five grapes giving you four juice, you're also going to get one grape seed and four grape must out of it as well. And then you can take those grape seeds to your oil mill and two grape seeds will produce one grape seed oil. Ever wanted to name your own town? Customizable Town Sign lets you do just that. Wooden Beehive? just a set of a couple of really wonderful looking beehives for you to use. Faster Conveyor Belts is a mod that does exactly that. It speeds up your conveyor belts by a factor of three. So doesn't make it super unrealistic but it's a quality of life mod and the nice thing that I've seen with this is as opposed to having pieces of equipment that are replaced that have this built into it the modder says this works with all the conveyor belts in the game and DLCs and should work with any other conveyor belts that you can buy. So that makes it very, very versatile if you do anything with conveyors on your farm. So if you enjoy working on very hilly or mountainous maps, Agco Leveling Pack might be what you've been looking for. 
It's a series of harvesters and headers that, as you can see, have some pretty significant capabilities in leveling. Here's an action shot they provide of one on a hill. So that is it for this week's edition of Mods Worth Noting. Pretty good crop, even though it's the list seems to be getting shorter and shorter of mods that are being put out each week, which makes sense given how long the game's been out at this point. Hope you found something you can enjoy and try out, and I'll see you next time.